Ruby. So last week I made a little video asking for questions for a Q&A because I have recently hit 200 subscribers and I figured that would be worth celebrating. So I dropped a little announcement both here on my channel as well as on my Instagram page and I have received quite a number of questions which I was not prepared for but we're going to try and answer them all in the span of a video. Let's just get into it. First question was sent to me in direct message and it says how long have you been doing art for and what inspires you slash has inspired you? I have been doing art since 2016 or well actually since I was little but I really got into digital art in 2016, May 2016 as a result of wanting to draw illustrations for the RubyX project, which also started in 2016, two months prior. That's also my inspiration. I really just wanted to contribute to the project in the best way I could. And that was by illustrating. So I took it upon myself to do the character designs and make illustrations. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I got into it and I am still doing so. This question was submitted by Paon Official. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Was Tron initially similar to the current version or was it very different? If it was different, how did it change? And who were you inspired by for the character designs? That's uh, a lot of questions. Um, Tron has seen a number of versions over the years. From the very first roleplay based version in 2016 to numerous little versions in between, then a big version in 2018 and um, the reboot in 2019 all the way up to now. There were a lot of things that changed, uh, but this, the main story is still the same. We are still going by that same plotline from the original roleplay. The biggest changes were because we decided to take it apart from the Wings universe, which it was based in at first, and give it its own realm and its own school and its own planets and its own everything. Yeah, when Arthurville Academy was first formed and designed, that is when the story went through the biggest changes. As for the character designs, most of them were really just based on the people who played them in the roleplay. So Crystal, for example, is heavily based on Maddie, and Rachel, at least in terms of personality, is the basis for Mio in quite literally everything about her. And Chloe is based on me, which I guess you could guess because we share a name. But yeah, all of the characters were based on the people who played them in the roleplay. Aside from the teachers and family members and other <laughs> characters that, you know, weren't part of the main cast. Wizard Knight asks, how long have you been a totally awesome artist for? Uh, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I have been an artist for four years, at least digital. Um, are you self-taught or did you get lessons? I am actually self-taught. Uh, I did take lessons at school, but not like lessons, lessons, more like school classes. Um, and do you know how to do all kinds of art? I know how to do a number of art forms, but my main medium is digital art. <laughs> the real Tom Talon says, please explain the plant with food and water to everyone, to which I say, no, not gonna happen, Thomas. Here's a question from my dear friend Sailor Drawings. If each of your main characters would have an animal sidekick, like a familiar, what animals would they be? I think Crystal would be the easiest one to answer here because she would definitely have a dragon sidekick. Although if mythical creatures are not allowed, she would have a cat or a dog or a horse. Basically anything. She wants to become a vet. Chloe has a cat, so that one is not too hard to answer either. And Liam kind of strikes me as a dog person. Although Morena isn't the best place to house a dog. Now that I think about it, none of the other planets are good for animal keeping. Um, uh, yeah, I'll have to skip this question. <laughs> Here's a couple of questions from the Fandom Mastermind. 
you a cat or a dog person? I am a cat person. Right, Bobo? Oh. Fave season of the year? Fall. Autumn. It's just the leaves, the rain. I love fall. How do you come up with the character clothing design? A lot of scratched ideas, actually. I basically just sit myself down whenever I get an idea for one of the character designs. There are a lot of designs that have popped into my head over the years and they have just evolved. Every time I get a new idea, I just sit down and draw it. And yeah, a lot of those ideas get scratched, but eventually I find something that works for me and I work with that. Who do you kin from an anime or other show? Well, uh, I had to give this some thought, but I think I am kind of like Tecna from Wings Club in the sense that I have had a hard time dealing with my emotions, just like Tecna did. And also that I had to learn to trust all my friends. Well, that and the fact that I take things too literal sometimes. <laughs> just like she does. Comfort character. Goter from Nanatsu no Taizai. And um, from my own OCs, that would be Alex. <laughs> I really love Alex. And the last question came from my YouTube video. It was asked by Tom Tellen. I have a Q&A question. Explain to everyone why you are taking so long to finish the lyrics for the song we're doing. Also, what's the progress? Well, I am glad to ask because this is a very good time to announce that Tom Tellen and I have been working on a song for the last couple of months and it's going to be a song for the Rubix project. We have recently finished the instrumental and I am now partnering up with Weeks Club Newsflash or Tony to write the lyrics. I hope to be able to announce a release date soon. We're working on it. It's going to be great. That was basically all of the questions I received. I hope I answered them well enough. <laughs> but in any case, I want to thank you all so much both for 200 subscribers and for all of the questions I have received. My Instagram audience is just the best. You are so active and you really make me feel so appreciated. Yeah, I hope I can do something like this again in the future and um, regular content will continue next week with another art compilation video. So be on the lookout for that and keep living the magic. Chloe Terrell Firstthorn. Anxiety. So I am guessing they want to keep their Now that I've grown older, I think I'm actually a lot more like Tecna in... <laughs> and uh, I have a lot of time dealing with my emotions. A lot of time? What? <laughs> Sorry. Parallel Tecna's journey to... <laughs> but what you doing?